The last movie, somebody says Joker was the last movie they saw in theaters. The last movie I saw in theater was Uncut Gems, which you could, I couldn't really have picked a more perfect film because that movie is about the, uh, the death drive of American society. I mean, I know it's specifically about, you know, uh, Judaism and stuff and like Jewish experience, but as a, it is part of a broader, a broader analysis of a people, Americans, who believe themselves to be eternal beings, but who have physical bodies and who can't reconcile those two things other than by subconsciously seeking death on their preferred terms. Like the beginning of the movie, he's getting the rectal exam and it's actually kind of up in the air. And I actually thought he was going to get a call halfway through that he had cancer. And then he gets the, the, the call, oh, I don't have cancer. Yet, oh, he doesn't have it now. That doesn't mean in five years he's not going to have it. That doesn't mean in 10 he's not going to get it. And he even talks about his family history. He's probably going to get it. Does he want that? Does he want to wait around to fucking get chemo and, and get sick? The thing that everybody watches their family members go through with horror? Or do you die on your own terms going out on top? And that is why that movie has a happy ending. He got what he wanted. But in real life, you can't do that. And one of the reasons we're cracking up is that it's a society of Howie Ratner's trying to dictate their end, but you can't know. You can't do it. Because you set it up, and it doesn't come because you're not, you're not, you don't want to die in your conscious mind and then it doesn't happen and then you have to keep doing it. You keep doing the same thing and it just, it drives you into, into, his, into uh, madness and it's driving us all into madness. And it's especially funny seeing that movie right at the moment where like Bernie looked like he might win, you know, before COVID happened. It's like, oh, if you could pick a moment, wouldn't that have been the moment? But you don't get to pick the moment. You don't get to be Howie Ratner. He is, he is a, a classic uh, hero in the sense that he, he fucking, he saw the moment, even though he didn't know he was seeking it, and he, he, he got his end. He got an end on his own terms.